Let's start today's overview with Kherson direction, where fierce counterfighting continues on the left bank of the Dnieper in the area of Krynki. And despite the severity of the fighting, Ukrainian forces were able to expand the bridgehead they occupied, taking several more positions in the western part of the settlement. Zaporozhye direction. Here, on the Arekhov sector of the front, as a result of a successful attack, Russian forces knocked out Ukrainian troops from several positions northeast of Novoprokopovka, after which they tried to develop their success and advance further, but to no avail. In the meantime, on the Velika Novoselka sector of the front, Russian forces conducted several unsuccessful attacks north of Priyutne. As for the sector of the front between the Dnieper and Derekhov, here there were positional battles, none of the sides actively attacked. Vuhlidar direction. Here Russian troops took a number of Ukrainian strongholds west of Salotka. Marinka direction. Here Russian forces continued to develop their success in the area of Novomikhailovka, and they managed to take several Ukrainian positions in the eastern part of the settlement, as well as south of it. In addition, they advanced a little farther towards Georgievka and Pobeda. At the same time, Ukrainian troops repulsed all the attacks on the outskirts of Krasnogorovka. Avdeevka direction. Here, Russian forces were able to significantly expand their presence in the city, taking a number of positions in its northern part. Ukrainian troops are still holding the so-called road of life, but Russian forces are getting closer and closer to it. At the same time, despite the fact that the supply situation in the central part of Avdeevka is already very difficult, it seems that the Ukrainian command isn't going to surrender the city since fresh allied combat-ready units have been deployed here, which experts say will try their best to hold the city until the Russian presidential elections, which will be held in March, so that Putin cannot demonstrate the capture of Avdeevka as an achievement in his election campaign. If we talk about the surroundings of Avdeevka, here Russian troops took a number of Ukrainian positions in Pirvomaiskaya, advanced to the northeast of Opetne, as well as slightly expanded the control zone on the southern outskirts of Avdeevka. Toretsk direction. Here there were positional battles without any particular results for both sides. Bakhmut direction. Here Russian forces took a number of Ukrainian strongholds south of Bogdanovka and west of Hromova. Also, they advanced east of Klishevka, but then Ukrainian troops managed to recapture some of the lost positions as a result of a successful counterattack. Seversk direction. Here Russian forces advanced a little farther east of Belogorovka. Svatova direction. Here, Russian troops expanded the control zone between Yampolovka and Tirny, as well as advanced a little north of Makievka. At the same time, in the area of Tabayevka and Krohmalne, Ukrainian forces continued to hold the situation, repulsing all Russian attacks. And finally, Kupensk direction. Here, Russian troops took several Ukrainian positions northwest of Sinkovka and southwest of Orlyanka. And that's all for today. Subscribe to the channel and have a good day.